So guys, I am back with another First Descendant video and today guys, I bring you yet another amazing farm for some rare materials that will help you out in regards to researching those descendants. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the farm today guys is going to showcase to you how you can get plenty and I mean probably tens of thousands per hour of carbon crystals and shape memory alloys. Now, if we go to the research vendor within Albion, and if we go to all, and if we search, let's say carbon, you'll see them come up guys and what they are used for. And they're a very, a very important material for certain items and certain things. So you can see them right here. I do believe the carbon crystals that's one of the things we will be farming today and the other one are the shape memory alloys so if we come to write in shit not s shape game shape here we go no not sh click on it dodgy controller shape here we go people here we go and then guys we can see them right there the shape memory alloy now i've got a couple thousand of these but i haven't spent any yet i literally haven't spent any yet the only descendant of research in this game so far is Bunny. Holding that until I hit hard mode before I do any of the other stuff. But yes, guys, shape memory alloys and carbon crystals. I'm going to showcase you guys an amazing farm where you get tens of thousands per hour. No enemies you need to fight at all. Simple as this. So I do want to say as well, credit to my pal Jakob for showcasing this to me. Without him, this farm wouldn't be possible for me to bring to you guys. Okay, so bring up your map, guys, and you want to have this place unlocked does that say hagios hagios whatever it says who cares no one cares okay so you want to come to the corruption zone on the left hand side and you just want to spawn into here just like this just like this people just like this xbox loading times come on game okay so once you're here guys pressing that right thumbstick on console and you'll ping nearby containers you can see there's one two three and there's five five here Simple as this, people. Five here. Run up to them. Open them. Carbon crystal, 124 there. Simple as that. We have another one here. Open it. Carbon crystals, more. We have another one right here. Simple as this. Open this up. More carbon crystals, people. And we have two more right up here. And this is simply the farm. This is all you have to do. This is literally it. There's one more just up here. Just up here, guys. Grab that and you are done. Now, what you want to do is to make this more efficient. I mean, you can load back into the area, but I think these are on like a timer. So they will respawn over time. But if you fast travel away from the area and then simply fast travel back, they've all reset. So you can do this over and over and over again. Getting okay, hundreds per run. How many times can you do this in an hour? I said 10,000 being generous. I mean, not even being generous, it's probably get way, way, way more than this. So then simply fast travel back and just run it again. You'll see that the world all have reset. And it really is that simple. That's literally it. So you can now if you ping, you'll see that they're all back. Simple as that. You can start at that end. You can start at this end. It doesn't really matter which end you start at, to be honest. I mean, I haven't really timed it, but uh, this is probably the furthest, furthest distance away. So it's probably, I don't know, just better start this side. I don't know, people. But again, you can open carbon crystals. 227 there. I have nothing on my armor, if there is stuff on your armor, that can increase drops too. Because we know we have them for Kuiper Shards and gold. So yeah, carbon crystals. Again, one right there. And then there's two more on that far side. Simple as this, people. The one right here. Just like so. Grab it. And we are good. And this is basically the farm, guys. This is basically the farm. In fact, I think if you go from the other one, you won't have to deal with these enemies. Actually, they're looking looking away, but I mean, just take them out if you have to. Nothing too mad there. And that is it, guys. <laughs> that is how you get unlimited amounts of these uh, shards. I mean, not shards, sorry. These materials. I wish it were shards. Imagine that. Imagine that, people. Imagine they were Kuiper shards. Jeez. But yeah, these are rare materials that you need in regards to crafting items for those descendants to unlock them. 
and it really is as simple as that guys again fast travel away from the area fast travel back run it and you are good guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more of the first descendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one